and welcome to this Price to Job tutorial. In this video, we're going to take a look at some updates we've made to customizable stages. Price to Job has given you even more control over your estimates by making stages even more customizable. Stages appear here in the right hand sidebar. So to start, let's just create a custom module here by clicking the top modules toolbar and select custom module and create. And from this blank custom module, now we can just start adding stages. So if we click the plus add stage here in the right hand toolbar, we can see a wide variety of stages ready to be loaded. Now, as of this recording, this is not the full price of job library. As a matter of fact, this only represents about a third of stages available in price of job, but we're adding a few more every day and we expect to reach 100% completion over the next few months. So to add your stage, you can just choose from the various categories. So for example, we might choose carpentry and add some architraves. Alternatively, you might know specifically what you're looking for and type that into the search field, say for example, plaster. And Price of Job offers you the various filtered options. So we'll select plastering walls. And let's add one more. We'll click plus add stage and just scroll down until we find what we're looking for. In this case, and we want skirting boards. And we just select that. And that stage is added to our right hand side pane. And then we can just add some values to these various stages. If we know the length of architrave we require, we can just input that here, say 20 meters. And if we're not sure, we can hover over this field and click the perimeter calculator. And this opens the perimeter calculator here that will help us to calculate the values. So we just add perimeter and then choose the shape, input our values and save. And perhaps we have five of these and price job calculates the total length for us. And when we click save, it updates that here in our perimeter field. We can do the same thing for plastering walls, but instead of perimeter, we'll be using area. So we click add area, choose an area for our wall, set the length of the wall and the height and save. And then we can duplicate that wall if we need to, just by adjusting the quantity and then save. And that area is added to our plastering walls. And for the skirting boards, perhaps we know that value. We can just input that manually. We'll just say 20 linear meters. Now, once we've completed making our adjustments to these various stages, if we just wish to simply hide that stage from our estimate without actually deleting it, we can deselect the checkbox here. And that's removed from our estimate. You see the total width of skirting is 2000 pounds. Without it is 1448. And as we hover over each of these various stages, you see there's a pop up toolbar that appears as we hover over it with a variety of options. First, let's reselect our skirting boards and then let's hover over the plastering walls and select this first option here to show resources. And what that does is it filters our estimate pane to only show us the plastering walls stage. And that's indicated here in the stage index shown at the top of the estimate stage. We can also show just the architrave stage or just the skirting board stage. Or if we wish to see all stages, we click here and this shows all of our stages. If we wish to reorder our stages, we can do so by clicking the move icon here and then dragging our stage to wherever we wish it to be. And as we move these stages, our description automatically adjusts to reflect these changes, as do our reports. Here we can see plastering walls, architrave, skirting board, to reflect the order that we've chosen here in our stage pane. We also have the option to save this stage as a template for future use. Once we've made all of our various material selections, we can save this. For example, we might just call this one plastering walls custom and save. And now when we go to add a new stage, we can filter our results. And here is our new stage that we've already saved, plastering walls. And it saves us the time of having to reselect all of our materials over again. And if we add a stage in error and we need to remove it, we can just click the bin icon here to delete that stage. And for more options, we click the more settings here. And this gives us more advanced settings for this stage. To collapse these advanced settings, we can click show less. And that's how to use the new customizable stages. Thank you for using Price a Job.